नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन सो दिस इज द असाइनमेंट ऑफ टू यस्टरडे सिट डाउन इन क्वाइट प्लेस एट एनी कन्वीनियंट टाइम व्हेन यू आर अनलाइकली टू बी डिस्टर्ब्ड एंड व्हेन यू डोंट हैव टू बी इन्वॉल्व्ड इन एनी आउटसाइड एक्टिविटी ट्राई टू ऑब्जर्व योर इमेजिनेशन फॉर 30 मिनट्स और सो ऑब्जर्व द फीलिंग द थॉट एंड एक्सपेक्टेशन इन द इमेजिनेशन पर्टिकुलरली द फीलिंग try to observe the imagination just the way it is going on without trying to evaluate it without reacting to it without trying to cling to it change it or stop it and we can discuss our observations so this is what we are doing in exercise 1 in exercise 1 we are observing the self so i am observing myself there are three exercises that we mention exercise 1 exercise 2 and exercise 3 in exercise 1 the self is observing the self in exercise 2 the self is observing the material that is the body as an example and in exercise 3 the self is observing the coexistence now to begin with we start with a discussion from this particular issue whether happiness is my innate nature or is it some external influence and we could see that if happiness has to be my innate nature then i need to ensure right understanding right feeling right thought in the self which ensures continuity in uh, happiness but if i try to fetch happiness from outside through some external influence then there is no continuity there is dependence outside there is no completion point sometimes i feel happy sometimes i do not feel happy and this kind of scenario is there so to have happiness as my innate nature i need to ensure right understanding right feeling and right thought and for that i need to awaken to the higher level activities of contemplation understanding and realization now to contemplate i have to work at the level of feeling contemplation is to see the relationship so transformation starts in me with contemplation so i have to transform my feeling now to transform my feeling i have to be aware of my feeling so in exercise 1 what we are doing is in step 1 we are trying to observe the feeling and we are trying to observe it as it is without trying to change it modify it impose something upon it reacting it reacting to it evaluating it not like that just as it is i am observing my imagination just as it is i can do it for some limited time in the day i can do it every moment so as i go on doing this my competence develops i can see my feeling within before analyzing it comparing it before expressing it i can see my feeling and there itself i can decide whether my feeling is naturally acceptable to me or not if not then i start working on my feeling and try to transform it this is the way my competence develops in place of expressing it with some thought unaware of the feeling and then facing the reaction or the repercussion of my conduct i can proactively look into the feeling <clears throat> evaluate it and then transform it but before evaluation i need to be aware what feeling do i have and you will see that when i go to observe my feeling it may not be very clear and that's how we could see that there are several questions how do i make out whether it is my feeling or thought or expectation right sometimes we are only testing the feeling unaware of the feeling and that's how we say that i am feeling comfortable or uncomfortable most of the time we are driven by thoughts something occurs in the imagination and we keep on following it for hours together isn't it you just see that maybe you get the feeling of opposition for someone because of some incident that happened in the past and you are sitting by yourself you don't have any commitment as such it's a holiday you start thinking about that person and the more you think about that person the more opposed you feel and then you keep on churning you know your thought for hours together right and finally you say that oh, let us drop this idea it has been enough like you could just see 
for three to four hours, you were thinking with that feeling of position, and you were not comfortable. You were unhappy. In fact, you were exaggerating the scenario as it was in your own imagination. The problem might not be such as you started imagining, but in your own imagination, you exaggerated it a lot. So this kind of scenario could be there. Now, when I'm aware of my feeling, I can decide by myself that if it is the feeling of opposition, do I have to continue with it, or do I need to transform it? At the very outset, I can decide for myself that do I have to continue with it or not. But how do I decide unless I'm aware of my feeling? So I have to be aware of my feeling. I have to see within. I have to be aware of my feeling. Now we also said that. If you are not able to observe the feeling directly, then what you can see, you can see the object of imagination. What I am paying attention to, what is that which is occupying my imagination? Broadly, you can make it out. You see that if you start observing from moment to moment, there would be lot of shifting here and there, but there would be some common or overall. Object of imagination also, just as I mentioned, that you are thinking about some person, and then you are just imagining. So he or she became the object of your imagination. So you can start observing broadly. You can start observing from moment to moment the object of imagination. Then with every object of imagination, you can observe the feeling. So if you are not able to observe the complete imagination, then start by observing the object. Then you can start observing the thought associated with that object. You can. Then observe the feeling associated with that object, and be aware of a feeling. So this is something that we have been trying to do in exercise one, step one. If you have any questions so far, then you can raise your hand and ask. Those of us who have been doing the morning exercises consistently and have been joining uh, multiple sessions would be aware of this. But those of us who have joined for the first time, you know, may not be very clear. There are also some of the participants who have not gone through complete UHE workshop, so they also might have some issues. So raise your hand if you have any thing which is not clear to you. But yeah, the, uh, you you said that you have to taste your imagination. Like, what do you mean by tasting your imagination, Baya? Can you just clarify that, Baya? I said you test your feeling, not imagination. Taste like taste your feeling. Why? Right? What? What? What do you mean by tasting? For example, you have some feeling of opposition right. for someone, and you taste it. Oh, and you feel bad about it. So sometimes so you mean you... that it's a kind of testing, testing it, or tasting it. Pardon? I don't understand the word. Is it a kind of testing it or tasting it, Baya? Tasting it. T a s t i n g. At the level of expectation, I also taste feelings. I taste sensation from the body. I also taste feelings. So if I'm aware only at the level of expectation, I taste the feeling. Though I'm not completely aware of the feeling. So you feel uncomfortable thinking about someone, okay? So you are <clears throat> testing that discomfort within you, but you are not exactly aware that you are having some feeling of opposition for the other. Usha ji, is that clear? Okay, 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 bye. Bye. Uh... I I am attending this morning workshop for the first time, so I, as you said that I am not clearly able to observe my imagination. I uh, I think it will take some more time in that. Yeah, voice is not, not very clear. I could get you. So you are not able to clearly observe your imagination. So you can start by observing the object of imagination. So, for example, you can just see in the past ten minutes, 
what you are thinking about. Maybe you are a faculty in a college. So just after getting up, you started thinking about your responsibilities at the college. You, start, you started thinking about the responsibilities in your family. So that much you can observe. Then we can go further and observe further. Yes, Baya. Namaste, Baya. Thank you. Namaste. Sir, there are two words in thought, analyzing and comparing. Yes. And expectation, selecting and testing. I yes. don't have uh, demarcation in between clear-cut demarcation, analyzing and comparing. Analyzing is breaking into parts. So we use two words, no? synthesizing and analyzing. Synthesizing means to join multiple parts to make one thing. Analyzing is to break something into multiple parts. So whenever I have some object of imagination, say a friend of mine, then whenever I start thinking about my friend, then I start analyzing it. So I, I imagine about the physical features of my friend. I imagine about the incidences that had happened with my friend in the past, his words, his behavior, his conduct, and so on. So what is happening? That a small image of my friend now gets split into multiple images. Yes, sir. That's, I have to um, purchase a house. That In that case, what is the analyzing? Analyzing would mean when you go to think about your own house, then you start analyzing what kind of house would be like would it be a 2 bhk 3 bhk or a villa will that be in uh, a metro city or some urban area or some rural area okay would it be your own built up house or some flat in the compartment fl flat in the uh, apartment so like that you start imagining so that way yeah this way you are analyzing and then you are comparing multiple choices. If I am having a flat in some apartment, then what will it be? If I am getting my house built, then what will it be? If I am having my house in Etro, then what will it be? So now you start, for example, with a comparing of profit, you start comparing various options. If I purchase the house in Metro City, it will cost me one crore. If I purchase it in some urban area, it may cost me 50 lakhs. If I go to some rural area, it may cost me 20 lakhs. So I'm comparing, okay, what would be the additional cost that I would have to bear? What would be more favorable for me to purchase the house in the metro city or urban area or some rural area? What would be more favorable for me to get it built myself or to purchase some from some builder to get a house in some apartment or to purchase land and get it built? What would be more favorable for me? So at the level of comparing, we start looking into what is favorable and what is not favorable. Either for senses or health or profit or for relationship, harmony and coexistence. So what we can do, we can observe for five to seven minutes and then we can discuss further. Let us observe for five to seven minutes on these points. If you could not get time yesterday to observe directly your feeling, then we can do it right now and then share our reflections or ask questions.
nice when i observe body by self from toe to tip a different thought comes at different level then uh, first of all bhaiya i'll say that let us not observe the body at this point of time let us observe the imagination and in particular the feeling because when you go to observe the body directly then and if the feeling part is not clear then you will have to make a lot of effort right right bhaiya but feeling comes at the time of observing the body feeling is always there whether you observe the body or not even if you are observing the imagination the feeling is there right so why uh, what i wanted to ask if you can permit me then ji uh, i want to ask that when i observe self by self self and Uh, uh, see self to self and the feeling i'm not clear on that point self imagination goes away at that moment nothing comes in the brain and observing self by self uh total void total blank nothing comes in the brain so that's why we said that we can start by observing the object of imagination so in yeah. the last 5 minutes okay were you thinking about something R- right bhaiya pardon in the 5 minutes for which you were observing were you thinking about something no bhaiya nothing actually uh, three things always move in my brain i am doing it from uh, last two three days self 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 body self existence so whenever i i i wanted to imagine something these three thoughts comes one or another way yeah. it's so so uh, embedded in my brain feeling comes when i go through the body go through the existence but when comes the point of self blank total blank yes so you are trying to observe something in particular either the self or the body or position that is not the exercise the exercise is to observe whatever you are imagining so for example let me just give a hint might be mm-hmm. that in the past 5 minutes you were thinking about your family right they are in your family who all are there in your family pardon i am saying who all are there in your family ah uh, children a uh, wife a uh, grandchildren nice so in the past 5 minutes did you think about your children no okay did you think about your wife no okay so did you think about your health no okay so did you think about some incident that happened yesterday nothing bhaiya i i what i have done is seeing the body seeing the existence when i come to the point of <laughs> self in the start and in in no imagination at these two points imagination is there because i am perfectly health wise also okay no problem no, at all just say that it's not that we have to observe something in particular maybe the self right. or the existence or the body so the exercise is basically aimed at that but the step 1 is not to observe the existence or the self the exercise one is saying uh, step 1 is saying that to, i have to observe the imagination as it is just now okay so no need to pick something from your own side just be as you are and just see oh. what is happening inside 
right i got it i got it i got just it. be as you are and observe whatever is happening inside bhaiya whatever happened is guided because i guide do this do this do this yeah that is not required then it becomes some kind of imposition yes yes yes, yes. i do not have to impose anything upon me i do not have to make a particular choice about my imagination no just be as you are so just try to recollect when you got up what were you thinking about then what came to your imagination then what came to your imagination okay that all things are basically your objects of imagination and you can be aware of them uh, bhaiya in the initial stage it has come that i will have to check the copy today uh, i will have to go to dtu and check the copy of universal yes. human value so it yes. has come in the brain but i i abstract the thought i concentrate on the self i i divert no. it yes that is not required yes so you have to go and check the copies right if you just observe it then you will also observe dtu you will also observe the students who you know uh, you have been teaching or the time for which you taught this course and so on right perfect bhaiya perfect perfect nice bhaiya sometimes bhaiya sound is not clear sometimes so i miss something from my side uh, no is it clear right now no right now it is clear but some speakers when they speak sometimes sound is hazy and not coming clearly should i do yeah. for that something for that well it's a matter of network even for me when i am sitting at one point in the park then some uh, facility of network is there when i move to some other point then the network may slightly change so that could be possible even for the other participants that could be possible it may be the case that they are working in the house and they are in one corner of the house at some point of time in another corner of the house at some other point of time that is quite possible ji sir ji ji bhai ji bhai thank you you mm. will be saying when i am analyzing a past event what is comparing there comparing is for being favorable or unfavorable what was favorable for you in the past what was not favorable for you in the past that is what you compare and with that only you taste something as comfortable something as uncomfortable yes whenever i I I I see in that uh, I could able to see lots of unwanted uh, imagination going on and also uncomfortable feeling. As I asked you, this is difficult for me to continue without reaction or without uh, worrying about my current state. Um, the moment I accepted that my current state, I could able to see that okay. this is my state and uh, if i take right program i can Im- improve myself that comfortable came for me but after that uh, throughout the day observing myself this acceptance is not coming easily for me to accept the current state of mind i want comment on this and also one more doubt here yeah, like uh, what are the activity of self like desire and expectation and all the other uh, expectation thought and determination authentication this all the activities can exist in any one moment uh, that that am i doing all this activity at each and every moment oh i have to see maybe this uh, this activities of the activities of self like desire thought and expectation authentication realization contemplation all these activities are going in me at each moment this is a question whether whether they all go in each and every moment or am i doing all this activities in each and every moment that is something that you have to find out so the yes. activities for which you are awakened right so for that you can see whether it is continuing or not 
there could maybe, be some activities for which you are not awakened maybe so this maybe moment i could able if, while talking to you or while observing your speech i could able to see that i have a desire like i have some feeling inside me also expectation but i don't know about the thought just i'm listening your words and observing attaching meaning and understanding so here i don't know about the thought and also this realization contemplation right now i'm not sure whether i am doing this activity whether static or dynamic i'm not sure at this moment i am doing all these activities maybe i have to see yeah, yeah. so let us elaborate upon it so com uh, contemplation understanding realization their activities are block b1 to which we might not be awakened those activities might not be active at the this point of time because they are not awakened isn't it so the potential is there me there in me but the activities are not there active because i'm not awakened now in imagination i am awakened to the activities of imaging analyzing comparing selecting testing so this is something that i am doing now here i can find out whether i am doing this or not one thing secondly am i continuing with it or not so what you can do you can start by observing the object of your imagination and there you can try to make out so if you are thinking about something okay let us take some person you are thinking about a person then do you have some feeling associated with that person yes yes now when you are thinking about that person are you analyzing how the person looks yes, what the person yes. is into you know yes it's activity what he did yeah so this is analyzing now whenever you analyze you have choices whether you go this way or that way you are making some choices no so like you may pay attention to the physical features of the person you may pay attention to the behavior of the person you may pay attention to the conduct of the person in the past whatever so you are comparing you know what would be more favorable for you at this point of time to think about most of the time behavior and conduct of the person yeah so you have opted for behavior and conduct yes. somebody may opt for physical features somebody may opt for physical facilities that the person has maybe your friend has purchased a very uh new brand of car or your friend has uh, booked a new apartment so you may think about that also so what is more conducive to you at this point of time for happiness with regard to that person you start thinking about that now this is comparing for example when you are talking to me <clears throat> you compared whether to just listen or to ask a question yes yes and uh, whether to type in the chat box or to raise hand so all the time we are comparing though we are not calling it as comparing but we are comparing when to speak when not to speak what to speak what not to speak we are comparing when you are associating meaning to my words okay then you are also analyzing the meaning and with your analysis you are again comparing whether the answer is complete for you or you should ask again are you not comparing each one of us is comparing okay when well then i'm not saying something then also you are comparing that let us listen not to ask at some point of time you decide that no let me ask listening is not enough so you keep on comparing and whatever you listen you keep on analyzing and then whatever i'm saying you are testing it you are testing the sound of my words you are testing the feeling with which i am speaking for example when i am talking to you am i talking comfortably or i am talking with some discomfort am i using harsh and loud words or am i talking to you amicably you are testing it the feeling part also and you are of course selecting to listen to me for example it may be the case that you ask something and then you may select to do something and you may select not to listen to me this is also something that i have observed that many of us <laughs> will ask a question and the moment we start responding they will start thinking doing something else right True. so this could also be possible so you just try to make out <coughs> the various activities i gave you an example so you have the feeling associated 
with any point of imagination. You have some comparing going on. You have some analyzing going on. You are testing some feeling. You are testing the sensation. And you are also selecting to test or not to test. You are selecting to give instruction to the body or not give instruction to the body. To speak or not to speak. All that is happening, isn't it? Yes, but this outside, uh, it is now somewhat uh, clear for me from the examples you have given. And about uh, by for five minutes, I'm sitting and I'm seeing imagination there also. I'm doing all this three, right? Maybe I have to see. Yes. yes. So you're sitting by yourself, then maybe you are more aware of the feeling because when I have to express, I am sometimes not aware of my feeling because I have to decide something and uh, express. So I do not have enough time to look into my feeling and then you know, decide. So whatever feeling I have, with that feeling I start speaking or start expressing. But yes, when you are sitting by yourself, you can be more observant of your feeling. You can be observing it more closely. Yes, player. The accepting my current state is difficult for me. Like uh, I forget that one, and I keep on reacting to the way uh, by seeing my current state. But accepting yeah, gives me yeah. harmony. Accepting the state gives me harmony and chance for the progress. But uh, I keep on defending and uh, reacting to my current state. So I still seeing my current imagination, like uh, desire and thoughts. Accepting will not lead to, not ensure harmony. It may lead to understanding. Yes, understanding. Yes. Yeah. yes under it may lead to understanding of harmony, but not exactly ensure harmony. So accepting is there because unless I accept, how do I transform? If I keep really? reacting you know, without accepting, then how will I transform myself? True, true, Baya. But uh, maybe for the most of the time, I was practiced in Ved, so it was difficult for me to accept my current state. But the moment I accept, I come into some calm state and I take necessary program to improve myself. I could be able to see that. So we are practicing step one of exercise one. And we started looking at the problems that we generally get while observing. So one problem is that the attention goes outside. So we pay attention to whatever we consider important. Till now, we may have been considering the world outside the physical facility, the body, the sensations in the body to be important. So you pay attention to the world outside. Keep observing wherever your attention is at this moment, even if it is on the something outside. So keep with your decision to observe your imagination. When your imagination, when your attention returns to your imagination, keep observing it. So attention going outside would mean that if I am having my eyes open, one part of it is when I am having my eyes open, I am just looking at things outside. Okay. And the moment I close my eyes, they remain as a matter of concern for me. But going further, we can observe our imagination. So when you see that you are important, your imagination is important, your feeling, your thought is important. Then your attention will also go to your imagination your feeling is that fine are you able to get this solution that is being shared here do you also face this kind of problem you can respond in the chat box that most of the time your attention is outside and not on your imagination Nipaji is saying yes Ambara Suji is saying yes, Turkaji is saying yes, Rupamji, Rijaji, Aulakramji, Jagis Bhaiya, Nirmalaji, Prashanti. Nice. Maithiliji. Try to observe it. So we will pay attention to whatever we consider important. Now one major task that is getting accomplished through the exercises is that our priority is shifting. Earlier, our priority was something outside. So we're paying attention outside. Now our priority is transformation inside. You can see. 
ji ravikant ji saying that how are you doing it is very comfortable but the tension was going outside the second kind of hindrance that we get is we try to observe through the body so i am seeing the self directly i am seeing the imagination going on in the self directly not through sensation so we are generally used to observe the world outside using the five senses sound touch form taste smell so we may even try to see the self also through the senses we may try to see its shape or color or something like that we pay attention to whatever we consider important now we are accustomed to observing the physiochemical things outside so whenever it comes to seeing observing we feel that we get a similar kind of sensation for the self also so the way i observe a tree in front of me a building in front of me a bird or an animal in front of me a furniture in front of me we assume that i will also be observing my imagination or the self in a similar manner so keep observing even this that yes you are presently accustomed like this that you are trying to see the shape or color of the self ultimately we have to see the imagination going on in the self if your attention goes to something do not react just keep with your decision your attention will naturally come back to your imagination so when your attention returns to your imagination keep observing it is that fine so i am not a physiochemical entity the body is a physiochemical entity so as you were mentioning earlier that when i have to observe the self i do not even need my body i can just observe myself by myself okay so to begin with many times we try to get a hint of the imagination through sensation okay the effect of sensation on the self from there we start observing but gradually see that i just can keep the body in some comfortable position i can be with myself i can simply observe i have to observe my own feeling they are my own feelings they are inside me how can i not observe them only that i am not given the right priority or the proposal may not be clear that's all and you will feel quite empowered when you are able to observe the feeling because then you can see oh this way or that way i have been doing so many mistakes in my conduct in my living if i can become aware of my feeling i can decide very much there if the feeling is not acceptable to me naturally why to continue with it why to design you know castles out of a feeling which is not acceptable to me naturally feeling is not clear this is something that has been shared time and again so if you are not able to observe your feeling but you can observe your thoughts then for the time being keep observing your thoughts you can deduce the feeling from the thought for example you have thought of competing with somebody okay you are trying to compare with someone and trying to compete with someone then you can see that there is some feeling of opposition or you may again have a thought of uh, struggling with someone fighting with someone reacting to someone opposing someone okay or empowering some or dominating over someone whatever then you have the feeling of opposition similarly if you have thought of nurturing your relative then you can see that the feeling is of affection so you got up in the morning and then you are able to see that the children have to go to school and they must do the must take the breakfast before they leave and they should also be taking their lunch uh boxes with them so with that feeling of responsibility with that feeling of affection you are preparing yourself and you are thinking about so many things at when this lunch packet is study how to give something different today so if you are not able to observe the feeling directly observe your thought and look into the purpose why look into this question why so but ultimately you have to develop the capacity to see the feeling directly and this capacity has to be developed 
so let us uh, take some response in the chat box here how many of us are still not able to see the feeling can respond in the chat box if you are not able to see the feeling presently you can respond in the chat box or well, let me ask it the other way am i able to observe my feeling am i able to observe my feeling okay vipam ji saying yes anupa ji saying yes anand raj ji sibir ji aisha ji tamundeshwari ji maitri ji arunachalam ji meera das ji nirmala ji kinalni ji nice uh satya shiva ji you are in batch you have joined in batch 10 nice satya shiva ji you are the star at iit kanpur i think i have noted your name for, for the first time nice we'll get in touch okay many participants from batch 10 are saying that they are not able to see the film so you may always raise your hand and ask whatever is not clear professor uh, i want to put forward my sharing that is feeling leads to imagination and at the same time imagination also influences our feeling or the quality of our feeling i think feeling and imagination is a cyclic process which are governed from each other and also influence each other if i let think like correct this, let me just correct it bhaiya yes. feeling is a part of imagination okay sir so that was my question if i think like this am i right or some other interpretation is there this was my question if this thing is coming to my mind that imagination and feeling are complementary to each other and they continuously throughout the day whenever we are involved whenever we are in the conscious mind they go influencing each other so this was my question am i right in my thinking or some other other part of clarification is there from your end so let me just correct it and then i'll respond so you are yes. saying that does the thought trigger some feeling or the feeling triggers some thought yes isn't it so it can happen yes. either way you have some feeling inside you and it can trigger some thought and the thought can trigger some expectation it can also happen that you observe something in the outside world right you taste it as an information that triggers your thought and that thought triggers some feeling inside you so for example going by the first case you are feeling to be prosperous you want to be prosperous now to ensure prosperity in your family you are analyzing various options you know so i am having a job <clears throat> but the same is not enough so should i invest in mutual fund or should i invest in stock market now the elections are going to be over the stock market may or may not boom what to do what not to do for example right so you are having some feeling of being prosperous and for that you are analyzing various options and then you may compare various options so what is happening here with that basic purpose to be prosperous you are having also the feeling of being prosperous and for that you are imagining something you are thinking something analyzing comparing something and then you can make some selection there could be other possibility also that a friend of yours called you and told you that i have invested in this stock market in this particular company you know do you have some idea about it i have heard that this is giving a lot of profit nowadays now the information has come from outside right and it triggers your thought and this thought may trigger some feeling maybe for accumulation that you are having enough but still if i invest in the stock market in this particular company at this point of time then i will get huge profits and then if i get huge profit in this summer i am going to take my family for some trip abroad now what is happening here information came from outside you tested at the level of expectation and then you analyzed and compared and then you have a feeling of accumulation or feeling of getting happiness through sensation and that has not triggered your you know complete imagination so it can happen this way also both ways is possible 
थैंक यू सर थैंक यू नाइस नाइस भैया सिविल जी सेइंग दैट यू आर नॉट एबल टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन द टू ओके द टू वुड मीन फीलिंग एंड थॉट एंड गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल जस्ट टू शेयर माय से my experiences uh, for the last uh, two three sessions uh, i have started attending uh, this morning session since seven batch but i couldn't uh, do it completely uh, eighth batch ninth and tenth this ten batch bhaiya uh, when i was conducting this exercise for myself in eighth batch so uh, uh, that time i i used to uh, put up so many logic to the uh, steps which you are uh, sharing here so i was not able to basically to uh, do the things then in ninth batch i started uh, just doing uh, the step as it is and there i could see the benefit of it uh, because earlier when i uh, used to do it as to see the just imagination and i was putting so many meaning so many logic so many things and then i was just comparing with them so i was not able to do the things properly and what i understood uh, since my ninth batch experience is that uh, uh, the step we just told here i have to just do that no more and no less just observe suppose you are saying that you have to observe your imagination and if i know that this this is my imagination whatever which is going in my, in my mind whatever it may be thought it may be feeling it may be expectation whatever i name uh, a name i give it to it. i think uh, my role now is to just to see what is just going on and uh, by following these small small steps every day every day every day i i can now realize the benefit of it the, the very very big benefit of it uh, so i think uh, this is very important part uh, while doing this exercise and this i want to share to all of us also now also when this exercise is going on i'm just concentrating on that thing uh, Uh, say for example since yesterday we have started this uh, so uh, uh, in spite of having experience of all these things that i should do for the uh, manet and all that behind the thought which is going on in my mind now now once again i started the same thing i'm just observing this so now uh, i'm observing my thought my expectation yeah now it is possible for me to see the difference between expectation thought and uh, feelings uh, but uh, the step says that now you observe, observe your imagination so that is what i'm doing there and i can see the transient nature of uh, my thought my uh, uh, expectations and all so uh, uh, this is what i'm doing and i would also request all of us to just just to see what it is going on in the mind no no more no further no attaching meaning no putting any logic uh, just uh, be the vigilant of the rule for this and uh, i think this is just i think this is the uh, sharing from my side uh, as a sort of say my experience that i got a very big benefit from this and uh, let us go one step one step one step like that step by step that is what i feel bhaiya just to share this my experience to you thank you bhaiya nice sharing bhaiya nice sharing this is the way we generally go we start first of all looking at things in a rational way whether it is rational or not we apply our logic now when it is appealing to us rationally then we start analyzing what is being said and then at some point of time we feel assured and then we just do it you know, without applying any external thought to it so we try to be with it now going further you will see that the more you are able to uh, do the steps correctly right you are able to do many steps at a time uh, at the same time you know? so you are able to observe the feeling evaluate and then just trying to observe whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not and then trying to transform so that will also happen that may take some more time but as you mentioned you know, it is very true and this is the way we generally progress but this part of feeling assured and just being with the steps and doing them exactly as it is being said is very important unless we yeah, and also bhai it is very hard pardon and also bhai yeah also bhai it is very hard i'll not say it is hard see we hard have is... some apprehensions you know to begin with yeah yeah we have some yeah, yeah, because of that only 
yeah because of that only we feel that is very very hard at the initial stage yeah yeah, yeah. so we might be carrying some apprehension some doubt you know and that's how we struggle in the beginning but that is also not required you know just looking at the proposal as it, as it is being said feeling assured and then being with it would be enough so nice bhaiya yeah bhaiya thank you bhaiya time now yeah it is time now so